Welcome back to the Joe's Hungry channel located in my semi-adopted hometown of Fairmount, Georgia. Burger King has a new menu line. It's called the Southwest Bacon Whopper Menu. This four-part menu consists of Southwest Bacon Whopper Jr., Southwest Bacon Whopper, that's what we're gonna do today, double Southwest Bacon Whopper, and last but not least, the impossible Southwest Bacon Whopper Sandwich. The Southwest Bacon Whopper Sandwich consists of one quarter pound flame grill beef patty, avocado spread and bacon, seasoned tortilla strips, American cheese and lettuce, sliced white onions and tomatoes, creamy spicy sauce all on a toasted sesame seed bun. The Southwest Bacon Whopper rings in at 886 calories. I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. This burger will set you back $6.99 before taxes in Georgia. Let's talk more food, so let's jump on over to Burger King at US 411 and I-75 in Cartersville, Georgia. Can I get two Southwest Bacon Whoppers? Man, they're running slow today. You wanna see what the ambient temperature is right now? And I've been in line for well over 15 minutes. Hopefully they've cooked these to order, but I have my doubts. I got my Southwest Bacon Whoppers. Let me pull off the side and do the Joe's Hungry temperature test. Southwest Whopper number one comes in at 130.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Southwest Whopper number two comes in at 125.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Not surprised by Burger King. That's not hot. So they lose the Joe's Hungry temperature test. Now it's time for a little more in-depth evaluation. So let's roll on back to the studios and do the Joe's Hungry weight test. Southwest Bacon Whopper number one comes in at 11.15 ounces. Southwest Whopper number two weighs in at 10.60 ounces. I add those two weights together, I average them out, and I come up with a medium price, 64 cents an ounce. Now it's time for the Joe's Hungry big reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like, we saw how much it was, and that only leaves one more test. It would be the Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is bite test engage. It is a very drippy sandwich. The creamy spicy sauce is barely detectable. I would give it about a 1.5 on the Joe heat meter. The onions are crispy and add a little bit of heat themselves. I can slightly detect the taste of a tomato. I can even tell that the pre-cooked bacon is there by its saltiness. I can see the tortilla strips, but I cannot taste them. Not really sure 
why they're there. As far as value, 64 cents an ounce. That's kind of middle of the road for fast food. Unfortunately, they didn't cook the meat order, but they rarely do. Now it's time to give this thing a score. My scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and five and down is the slippery slope to food hell. So let's go ahead and give this thing the number that it truly deserves. I'm gonna have to go with a 5.8. Sort of an underwhelming number, sort of a underwhelming sandwich. That is my number, that is my review, and we will see you in the next video.